friends, my name is Victoria and welcome back to another video that I'm probably not qualified enough to be making. Before we start, I should probably address the piece of paper behind me and then not explain why it's there. I am a big fan of Saturday Night Live and I realize this has become a maybe controversial statement recently because everyone in the world has their own opinions on this show, but I can proudly say I'm a fan of SNL. To quote Amy Poehler's son, it's not always funny, but it's fun to watch. I could talk a lot about SNL, but there's a specific aspect of it that I thought could be fun to get into today. Because you see, a few weeks ago, I noticed a lot of people were talking about how Ellie Kemper could do a good job playing our new White House press secretary on the show. And I think Ellie Kemper is very cool. So I thought, oh my gosh, wow. But then I noticed people saying that that might not be the best idea because it would be another role going to a celebrity guest star instead of an actual cast member. And then I thought, oh my gosh, wow. Ever since I started seeing conversations like these, I have not stopped thinking about it because I feel like there are very valid arguments on both sides. So today we're going to analyze this a bit more and see if I can come to a more definite conclusion, although I would keep in mind that I'm a teenager with no actual comedic or marketing expertise, so I might not have the best takes on this, but if it's something you're equally interested in, then you can join me. Let's go. We're going to start by taking a look at celebrity cameos and their value on the show. Just to specify, I'm obviously not going to be referring to hosts here, I mean like celebrity guests who are called in to play a certain role, recurring or not. I think nowadays people associate these most with politicians, which makes sense because I can name like 30,000 actors they brought on to play some political figure in the past three seasons, so that will probably be what I am most focused on today. Now I think these work for a few different reasons, but mainly because they get people talking. I don't think the selected actors are always chosen because they do the best job in the role, and I don't think the casting directors think that either. <laughs> However, it's just kind of cool to look at the screen and see a favorite of yours, or at the very least someone you recognize, especially if you don't watch the show regularly and aren't that familiar with the cast. There was a period in, I think, season 45 when Rachel Dratch was on all the time playing Amy Klobuchar, and I don't remember anything about her actual performance, but I know that I really liked seeing her. And in addition to these guest stars being fun to see, there are a certain few who really knock it out of the park and maybe do a better job than a cast member could. Larry David as Bernie Sanders is a good example, I think. That's one that makes everyone pretty happy. Also, I've watched Matt Damon's Brett Kavanaugh hold open like 100 times. That sketch in particular received so much praise, and I think people would be more accepting of the frequency of these cameos if they turned out more like that and less like others. Which brings me to my next point. I think the past four-ish years were tough on SNL fans because of Alec Baldwin's portrayal of Donald Trump, and the past few months were kind of rough because of Jim Carrey's portrayal of Joe Biden. I'm not a professional actor, so I'm not going to hate on either performance, but people definitely had opinions on both. People got tired of Baldwin, people wanted a different actor playing Biden, stuff like that, and so it made those particular sketches kind of hard to watch. As many of you guys know though, things are changing now. Baldwin is seemingly done with the show now that the election's over and Jim Carrey's time on the show was intentionally short. He made the choice to only spend six weeks there, but he generated some hype for the show regardless. All in all, I think this next period of the series should be very fun to watch because there's going to be a lot of transitioning and we've seen some of it already, which I will get into a little later. Regardless of these performances, I think the biggest issue with these political cold open type of sketches is that the majority of them are not um, I'm funny. <laughs> I don't want this to ever prevent me from getting, like, a job there, but, you know. <laughs> when you consider this, you have to determine to what extent a performer can improve upon that and how much of it is just, like, a writing issue. Now this brings me to our next point, which I partially stole. Um, in an AV Club article written by Jesse Hassinger, he noted that it might be a good thing that cast members are missing out on these political sketches because it gives them an opportunity to focus on more unique and maybe funnier content of their own. Now this is the really exciting part, at least for me, because I love the SNL cast so so much and all of the former members of the show. I think I get kind of like attached to people who can make me laugh, but that's not... That's not like the focus of the video right now. Now, Mr. Hassinger makes a good point about these political sketches maybe not being the most important to the cast members. I mean, yes, the cold opens are a very big deal. They are obviously the first thing the audience sees when the episode starts, and they tend to be among the most popular when they're listed on YouTube. However, when you think of Saturday Night Live and you think of these very iconic characters, you 
tend to not think of an existing politician or a character from a cold open. There are obviously some exceptions like Tina Fey's Sarah Palin or Kate McKinnon's RBG, but I think most people jump to more original stuff like Stefan, Target Lady, Mr. Robinson, or at least I'm assuming. So I would guess that applying themselves to things like that could be more beneficial and maybe more fun. There are limitations to that though, because for one, an actor might actually want to do these political type of cold open stuff, might be less interested in developing an original character and want to focus more on impressions and whatnot, and in that case, that cast member should obviously be allowed to do so. As many of you already know, Alex Moffat is the show's new Biden, at least as of the time I'm filming this, and I think that is so rad. He's been a cast member since season 42, I think he's very funny, and he has a lot of other very good portrayals under his belt, like Eric Trump and Anderson Cooper. I would also like to think that paying for Jim Carrey was rather costly, even if just for six weeks, so using cast members for these type of roles could be financially beneficial, if nothing else. And while I very much agree that we need to allow cast members to produce more unique and individualized content, doesn't it seem like we're not currently getting a ton of it? There is of course the running joke that isn't really a joke that all of Kyle Mooney's sketches get cut for time, but there are a ton of other underappreciated performers as well. Obviously newer additions tend to get used less, but there are also people who have been there for quite a while, like Melissa Villasenor, who are still not incorporated as much. So, if we're going to justify the frequency of celebrity cameos by saying it's giving the cast members a chance to do other things, we need to start actually seeing those other things. <laughs> Some of my favorite episodes last season were actually the at-home ones because I feel like everyone got an opportunity to showcase their capabilities in a very tough situation. There also wasn't like a real host which gave them a bit more room. Pete, Keenan, Ego, and Chris gave us some very good music, Chloe Feynman did wonderful impressions, Mikey and his son stole the show. There were obviously a lot of different circumstances to those episodes so we could not ask for something exactly like that again, but I think that those episodes had a lot of examples of the star quality within this cast. I recently watched the latest episode with John Krasinski which kicked off 2021 and it was not perfect but there were some good things in there. For instance, not one celebrity cameo and the cold open was very good actually. It starred Kate McKinnon which is an immediate win and it did touch on political topics but they did it well and there was variety within the content of the sketch. And there's a chance that things will be different when they return next week but as I said previously I think they're kind of in transition mode right now especially with the election over and so it's up to us to just kind of sit and wait. So let's wrap it up. Our question was is SNL properly utilizing their cast members and my conclusion is that I don't know. Well, I do know. They're not to their full extent, but there's also value to bringing celebrities on, so like, I, I don't know. The good news is neither of those groups are going anywhere and there's plenty of time to develop a better balance. I don't want these cameos to stop, I just want everyone to be happy, which as we learned is not the easiest thing to do with a show like Saturday Night Live, particularly because it has such a diverse audience. For that same reason, if you are an SNL viewer who happened to come across this video, you might not have liked it. If you are more invested in the show, you might have a more definite stance, in which case I would love to hear it. I started making these videos to have discussions about things that most of the people I know don't want to talk about, so it's always fun to see what other people have to say. Just like don't bully me or anything, because I'm already incredibly aware of all of my flaws. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I never know how these are going to turn out until I edit them, so hopefully it's all right. You are free to like or subscribe if you want to. I'm very clearly not a YouTuber, but I'm probably going to keep talking about stuff on here for a while because it's something to do, so you know, that's an option. My mom got me a little cake when I hit 10 subscribers on here, so imagine what you do if I hit 12. I don't know. Think about it. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a good day. Because everyone in the world has world, oh my god.